Hi everyone! It's Ruby and Rainy and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we're joined with our parents because we're going to be painting Easter eggs. We have a wooden Easter egg to paint for this challenge but this is cooler than normal because it's like a Russian doll inspired Easter egg which means it opens and opens and opens and opens until there's this little one. Oh no, that's not even the end one, not the smallest. There's that little one at the end. So it's really cool. Very cool. And we can paint every single one of these. So this is like one Easter egg painted except you open it and it's just surprising each time. Lines. Kind of the thinking behind this is we'll each have a layer of the egg to paint and then yes. as you open it, it'll have everyone's different thinking and ideas. Of different their egg. styles, different yeah. designs and it'll be really cool. We have Four eggs here. So these are all of the eggs that's unassembled. So does anybody know which one they want? Yeah, that one. I want that one. Okay, so you two I'll want have that. that one, if okay, you don't mind. Okay, I'll have that one. Yeah, that's oh, so it works inside. Go. When we reveal all of these, we're going to have it inside the thing and take them out one by one, which means someone's going to have to see them all together. I don't mind. Oh, it'll have to be Dad, because yeah, he's got the biggest one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll have to be Dad then. It'll be me. And right. how are we going to do this, girls? Are we all going to go off and do our own thing? And come back together at the end. Yeah, yeah. Are there any rules? Um, don't break your egg. Don't do pop off. Let's go and paint some eggs. So I've got this little one. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor. It also has another tiny little one inside of it, so I have two to paint. My idea for this Easter egg is something very simple. I think it's too small to do any really big design. I don't think it will look right. Being in Cornwall and living beside the seaside means that I can't help but be influenced by the seaside for my Easter egg painting. I'm going to do a pattern on my egg. I'm thinking something geometrical. So initially I had an idea of doing like a pattern on it because these are just so small. You can't do any like big design on it. It's just not gonna work. I do think something very minimalist would be very effective. I've seen some designs on Pinterest. I haven't yet decided whether I want to do like a floral pattern or a pattern pattern. I've been doing some searches on the internet for Easter themed, nautical themed, seaside themed, kind of sailing themed designs. I really like the idea of the egg looking like a jewel. So I'm I'm thinking about using metallic pens, gold, silvers. I want to use like very obvious Easter colours and I found an inspo photo which I really like, it's so pretty. I found some really, really nice examples that have really inspired me. Do you see? Like I could do something like that or I could do something like that. I do really like that. Here it is, that's what it looks like. So it's like little daisies on it. I really like these doodle eggs. I just love the kind of intricacy. Really love this shade of blue. I was gonna do like really baby blue and really baby pink. But I really love this navy looking blue. So I think I might do this and then I really like pink. So it has like a contrast to it. I really like these eggs. I like the fact that they look like jewels and I also like the metallic gold and silver on them. I'm gonna be using the classic red, blue, nautical sailing theme. I have blue acrylic paint black acrylic paint, red acrylic paint, and white. I've got this super dark blue, which I'm gonna lighten up with some white. I've got all these baby pinks, which are mixed together. I've got a white acrylic, which I'm going to paint the base of my egg with, and some metallic paint pens. Then the only other three things I need is a black Posca pen, a yellow Posca pen, and a white one to do the daisies after I've painted them. And yeah, very excited. First thing I'm gonna do is mix up the shade that I'm painting in. So it's that shade, that one. It's slightly different off camera, it's a bit more blue. I'm gonna make the colors first, then I'm gonna paint them, and then I'm gonna do the Poscas over the top when they're dry. The first thing I'm gonna do is using an HB pencil, I'm going to sketch out my design on the egg. First thing I'm going to do is paint my egg white. Let's paint some Easter eggs. I now have the entire thing painted. That's how the colour looks. My egg is now nicely painted. So here's the design all sketched out. We've got the ship on one side and we've got a lighthouse on the other side. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start marking out. I have these. These are for Mandala. I'm gonna be using them to draw on the design. I'm now going to build up my pattern with a gold Posca pen. And 
this is what it's looking like. I have done the base color for the eggs and I also did the pink one, the little, little one. It's like such a baby pink. This is my design so far. Really happy with how it's looking. I'm so close to being done with this. It's looking very, very good. I've just got to do some of the fine work in the blue for the lighthouse and then I can introduce the red. I'm basically going to continue now building up the design with the gold and the silver poskas. I've got these little devices mum gave me. They've got little dots on the end of them, which is just perfect for the little one, which I can just do little dots on. I think it's gonna look really fantastic. This is just the final detailing now. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll be finished. So I'll see you guys for the final reveal. So I finally finished, really love it, can't wait to show the girls. Right, so I finally finished. I'm gonna be 100% honest, that did take quite a long time just because that it's so small. I just keep like spreading it with my fingers. So I had to redo it a couple times, but I finally did it and it is so worth it. I'm so excited to show everyone. I have now officially finished. I think it's the perfect sort of balance of something complex and something quite simple. That's me done. I can't wait to show everyone. It's the next day, everybody has painted their eggs and each of us has come down individually without anyone else seeing and placed our eggs under one of these four canvases. So I'm gonna put all the eggs inside each other. Girls will come down and I'll reveal them one by one. Let's have a look at this one. Ooh, very nice. That's cute. I need to put that inside this one, which is <gasps> very, very nice. Third, ooh. These are really nice. And then mine last. Well, I know what mine looks like. Right, let's get the girls down. What do you think of them? Obviously you can't give it oh, any yeah, away. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've got one question. Yeah. Is it really like random things like that? Are they different? Are they all really different? If I say yes or no to that question, that, that kind of gives you quite a lot of information, doesn't it? Do you like them all? I love them all, okay. yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so what I will say is I think mine is really different to all the others. Really? Yeah. That's probably very good then, definitely. Because it's like the one you see first. It's yeah. Like... yeah. Right then, should we close our eyes? Close your eyes, yeah. please. Three, two, one, open! <gasps> oh, 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 that's so cute. That's a perfect one for the first oh, one. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh, gosh, I'd never thought of done anything like that. No. That's perfect. That's lovely. It works so well. Yeah. I like it. It's like very oh, Cornish. Okay. Yeah. It is really Cornish. It's something you find in one of those little shops in a seaside town. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. wow. What a good idea. Yeah. Ours are so different. Yeah, though. mine yeah. is not like that. <laughs> so this is my egg. It is, of course, seaside nautical theme and the classic colours of blue and red. So there's a lighthouse here and a sailing boat on the sea and obviously a sea horizon. Some waves with the uh, boat, as you can see, and then just some seagulls. And that's it. Really simple. Well, it looks really good. I really like it. Definitely different from mine. Yeah. Thank you very much. It'll be different from mum's. Yours is going to be very geometric. I, I bet think. yours is so patterny. <laughs> Geometry. Of course. So, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, that's, that's really, really nice. It's like a dinosaur egg. You like it? Yeah. There you go. It's Aww. like a Fabergé egg. It's you really what? pretty. I like that. Fabergé egg. Yeah. That's really cute. It's nice like... use of colour. Was that Posca? So you painted it white and then did the circles in Posca and then circles inside the circles. I did, yeah. yeah. But it yeah. really worked with it because it's like the first thing you see when you open it, it's really like gold. And yeah, like the treasure light, you know what I mean? So this is a close up of mine. Really happy with it. It was quite easy to do. Um, and I think it does look like a jewel. Mm. I think it does. It's really pretty. Wow. Number two, Rayleigh. Right. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, oh look at that. That is pretty. Oh, that's my goodness. Nice. That's what I did. I basically, I saw a photo online. It had like loads of these little designs. And I went with this one. That's, that's really cute. Cool. Really nice. I like that. that I like the colour. Do you see what I mean? Like they're kind of yeah. Yeah. similar. <laughs> It's really well done. You know you what's really, really good? Really nice. Is I almost did that colour but I didn't so I'm yeah. going to tell you now that all the colours are different. So okay. There's nothing that like clashes. Like the white on this is embossed. It actually comes out of the surface. It actually has a texture to it. 
that was deliberate. So are you happy with it? Yeah, I really like that one. I thought it was really cool. So this is what mine looks like. I'm very, very happy with it. I really like it actually. Passing it on to you, Ruby. It's lovely. I thought it wasn't going to take that long, but because I was doing such details, it took age. Did it? Oh, I'm looking forward to this then. But it's not even like that. But even though I've already seen it. <laughs> oh yeah, you've seen it. Yeah. We haven't seen it. Three, two, one. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that really works. No, they all do that. Oh, wow. That's mine. That is That's so, so pretty. Wow. Can I look? That looks really well done. It is really well done. Wow. <laughs> That's like Loads so of little daisies. Oh. Mm, yeah, that That's such a cute idea. Oh, they, they look, they're starting to look really lovely together. They do look really nice together. See, the thing is, because it's so small, I had to think of something easy to do. And yeah. I just used Poscas to do the little dots, but because it's so small, it was so, when I was doing it, I had to like hold all the different parts of it and I, I kept smudging it and it just, I had to redo it over five times, I'm going to be honest. Really? Five times, wow. And I had to paint over it afterwards, but it worked in the end. You also have to space them out equally as well, yeah. otherwise it looks really weird. Yeah, you planned out well. Yeah. And she didn't Good job. job. Int intentionally. Close your eyes, I want to put it in a certain way. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh <laughs> the same design. It's, it's the exact really same, but in sure. pink. Sure, that reminds me of, you know, so Zoodles. pretty. Yeah, oh, so yeah. they have the babies in. Yeah. So these are mine. It's quite easy. I just did navy blue and a pink egg with little daisy designs on it with Posca. And yeah, it's really cute. And I think it works with them. Even though they're so small, you can still see them. And there's a lot of space in between them. So it's not overpowering. I think they're really cute. I think they really work. So this is our collection of finished eggs. We really, really hope you enjoyed watching this because it's hopefully given you some ideas on what to do. The thing about this is, even though a lot of them were smaller, they didn't necessarily take any less time because the level of detail needed or that we did was pretty much the same. And also it's kind of hard to paint something circular because you've got mm. nowhere to hold. Also, next weekend is Easter, so we just wanted to wish you a happy Easter and we hope you'll have a really good day. Just so you know, we're not posting a video next Monday, which is the Easter weekend, because we're actually having a break, but we will be with you the week after, which is Monday the 17th. Monday the 17th, that's right. And Monday the 17th is going to be an exciting post day because both Tracy and myself have done a really great furniture makeover. We have, it's taken weeks actually. It's taken a while. Excited. On that note, that is the end of this video. We will see you all in the next video. Happy, Happy Easter! Easter. Happy Easter.